Hello, welcome to Fanta Tracks TV. Today we will be unboxing Wave 20 of the Black Series um, figures. Uh, but before I go into all of that, don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, turn on the notifications so that you get to see whenever we post new content. We post new content every Wednesday and every Saturday at least, or if something exciting happens, we try and do that in between. And you really don't want to miss it while we're at Celebration as well, because we're hoping to do quite a lot there, because we've got a booth. But anyway, more of that later. On to the unboxing. So here we are looking at the Dryden Voss figure from Solo, a Star Wars story. Um, yep, do the usual look around the box then, shall we? So first of all, we've got him in his plastic prison, and you can see his uh, face markings on there already. That looks quite cool. And the artwork of a Paul Bettany there, looking good. Nothing on the top, except the reflection of my lights. And there you go for fans of the barcode. That's what you're looking for there. Dryden V on the side with a Dryden Voss there and it's number 79 Dryden Voss getting up there aren't we won't be long till we're 100 and then again the artwork on the back with 79 and the description Dryden Voss the public face of the Crimson Dawn crime syndicate Dryden Voss is a contradiction a pitless enforcer known as a gangster of wealth and taste, his good manners shouldn't be mistaken for weakness, though as he changed from generous host to ruthless killer in a moment. There we go. We all saw what happened in the film. Right, that's enough of the box. Let's have a look at the figure inside. So here we are with the Dryden Voss figure. Just about to break him out. So first of all, I'll uh, remove the blades. which are just clipped in there. That's one out. That's the second one out. And the detail on the face, the photo uh, paint job is really good. Right, let's get ready for plastic. Oh, there you go, thrust it out. There you go, so put that to one side. And uh, yeah, neat looking figure to be honest with you. He's got his cape, which actually does come off. So I shall take that off. Just so you can see the articulation more than anything. Obviously he looks better with the cape on. Uh, articulation wise head does pivot doesn't move up and down too much because of the neck guard shoulders obviously fine elbows fine arms uh, sorry hands should I say fine torso moves in the middle there uh, doesn't move around the center same on the other side here a hand as well then he's got his hips pivots on the thighs knees and feet. So there we go. I've given him groovy feet now, but we'll sort that out before we pose him. He also has this um, tech where I think you can see there his face has the alien markings on and apparently different temperatures brings out different markings. So we'll have a look at that when we do the posing, see if we can get stronger, um, stronger paint. I guess it's not paint, is it? Stronger effect on there by heating him up and cold, cooling him down. We'll have a look. Weapons wise, you get two of these, which if you remember in the film was his weapon of choice and also his demise, spoiler. Um, again, we'll put them in the posing and like I say, there's his cope. It's not soft, uh, cope, cape. It's not soft goods, it's plastic. Yeah, it looks quite good though. So I shall put that back on him and uh, we'll get posing.
So there you go, I hope you enjoy the uh, video you've just watched. We'll be posting videos every Wednesday and every Saturday guaranteed, or if there's some news or some new stuff comes in, we might do some things in between there as well. But make sure you subscribe, um, then you'll get the notifications that come through, and uh, see you next time.